Okay, so in this video I'm going to give an overview of the quickest way to farm any piece of gear from Arms Race. Um, now the very first thing to do, which is important and influences everything else, is just decide what gear you want to farm. Because what chest rooms you visit and where you can get the gear from will influence your farming. So the first simplest thing, if you want a single item, say we want a kick charger, you just go farm that chest by itself pretty much. If you want, say, three or four items, you might farm a collection of chests. Or if you want, if you're doing like a hunt run and you just want to get one of everything, that is the only case you might actually want to farm Hawker too. It is always quicker to go through a single chest since they have less drops and they have higher rates, but Hawker does have decent rates of dropping any, of world dropping any one of the DLC's legendaries. So if you just want anything, he's good, but if you have something specific, you have to pick that. So let's start with single chest farms. Let's use Kick Charger as an example. So the first thing you need to get in your mind is to rush. Ready to run and gun. This is the thing that I see a lot of people not really struggle with, but I don't see a lot of people doing it. Rushing... you can make it from any spawn to any chest room. Regardless, the murder cane here, it's useless, you don't need to care about it. If it's ever a problem, you're doing it wrong, you're not going quick enough. If you rush, your starter gear is good enough for everything. Um, so what starter gear you want to use, you kind of just get a feeling for it after doing enough runs, but it's also easy enough to check just by killing an enemy or two along the way. Uh, you should never go out of your way to kill enemies outside of the specific farms you're doing, so there's no reason for me to kill these enemies, I'm just going to leave them. I might try shoot one a few times to see how good my weapon is, but that is it. Um, quick thing, this elevator here, always send it back down after using it so you can use it again next round. So since we're single chest farming, we are just going to run straight over here to this chest. And the dam here actually has a special shortcut we can do. Uh, give me a second for keyboard overlay. So come up to this edge, and then you want to stand right in the corner, jump, then hold forwards and jump again. You don't want to hold forwards and jump at the same time, it doesn't work. Jump, then hold forwards. A short delay, and you can get a mantle up here. That's way too big of a delay. If you look at my inputs, it should be pretty easy. No, I am using auto mantle. I might just skip doing the first arena. I will do. We'll have a little more on some glitches and skips later. But we decided to do this chest, so we're just gonna run straight here, use the starting gear, kill everyone, and loot it. Now don't be afraid to upgrade your gear with the random drops you get along the way, or if you find a good chest, like there's a chest up there, go check if it has anything, or I checked that red chest earlier too. Um, similarly to before, you kind of just get a feel with time about what's good. Uh, these are very similar, let's go for one that's slightly more damage. Like COV pistols tend to be pretty good. I might give a few tips like that throughout the run as I encounter them, but it's just something you learn with time. Yeah, I think I want to use that over this. Don't be afraid to switch out what gun you're using and try out different guns mid-fight. So we killed the boss wave, we can go kick the chest. See, we made it here before the murder cane even started moving, and we got a flame. Damn. That is really re Oh, I guess we are on those. That does make it more common, but comms are super rare. <laughs> anyway, once you've checked the chests, just down yourself. It is not worth going back to Orca. 
it's not worth tricking any other chess. You can just down yourself and do the farm again. And you can, like I said, you can make it from any spawn to any chest with the starter gear. If you just rush like this, it is not... The murder cane is never a problem. Um, so now for multi-chest farming instead. This depends on what spawn you get, so let's drop down first before we make any decisions, but let's say we want to get a kick charger, a plasma coil, and a toboggan. So all you do is you drop down, see where you spawn, and then pick which one of the chests is the closest. So in this case it would be the kick charger from this spawn. There are five spawns, which I'll cover more a little later, but just pick which one's the closest, and let's pretend we didn't actually care about the kick charger and we wanted a tizzy plasma coil or toboggan. In this case the tizzy would be closer, so that's where we'll go this time instead. So this is very similar to the single chest farm, except it. Uh, when we get to glitches later, there's some glitches you can do in single chest farming, which you can't if you do this. Uh, do keep your eye out for chests along the way, but like I mentioned, don't go out of your way for them. Oh, what guns did I get? Uh, the AR is probably going to be better than the dial pistol. And you probably get the idea of what you do here, but I just want to do a few more runs to show you how it really isn't much of a problem using the starter gear, as long as you rush. Uh, this room actually is one of the most dangerous with runs because it's so enclosed with so many enemies, but you can still make it work relatively well. Um, I like to use this edge as just cover. It's a different scrapper. It sucks when you get scrappers in this room. COV something, probably not much better than this, since it was white. Uh, talk here can be decent, but I generally I tend to underestimate it. Don't, I just don't like using it much. Uh, one thing that important thing to if that helps, pick someone like this guy as your dedicated revive. Just leave him on low health and kill everyone. Else. And you might want to change your dedicated revive mid fight sometimes. In case you know you're gonna go down. I don't like how far away from me these badasses are. Eddie run to, damn it. Guess we will be killing the badass. Oh, he has a shield too. Rude. Just a good... Just kill him to be safe. Yeah, so that was all using the starting gear, but don't, don't be afraid to switch stuff out if you find anything stronger. Uh, like I mentioned, you will just work out what's good as you do more runs. See if you got anything. Nah. Uh, we might be able to use that. Oh, it's transfusion. I don't know if we can use this to kill ourselves. But same idea, just down yourself and go do the next farm. Now, if you if you just want everything, or you want, like, at, at least over half of the possible items, that, that's when farming Hawker can become worth it. I can't really tell you an exact threshold, but when there's a lot of gear you want, sometimes it is worth going to him. Now, I've been clearing these chest rooms just fine for the starter gear, but Hawker is a bit of a different beast. If you get good starting care, you can absolutely go straight to him, but I would recommend going to a single chest room first. Let's win this. 
You should never go to two chest rooms outside of certain, which, oh. Okay, this is like the exact scenario I'd want if we're gonna go for an instant killer, so let's do that. What is this? This is good. This is good barrel to... Let's give this a shot. Um, one thing that really helps the Falker to is element matching. Jacob's shotguns are good too. Dedicated revives are definitely useful here if you don't have any good gear. Convenient that I just happened to get exactly the gear you'd want as I was talking about this. I haven't modded this or anything. Tense. It's definitely not easy doing this if you start again, but with good start again, it is possible. I'll probably kill him in one shot. Why not? Just thinking I should soften that guy up a little. It's my next three line to the left. Or if I keep swapping, it's just muscle memory from running Zane speedruns. It doesn't actually do anything at arms race. So not swap reloading properly. If you consider that a glitch, I don't know. Where's my revives gone? I don't like this. At least he's a lot dangerous, a lot less dangerous when he's off his whatever that is. There we go, got a revive back. Okay, there we go. So, it's not easy, you can't do it with just anything. And it is, it does get tense. But you can, you can just kill them with your starter gear, if you have good starter gear and you rush. When you kill them, you do need to save quit. You can't kill yourself. Like anywhere else. So I guess on consoles you might want to avoid doing it a little more, but... I don't know, you spend a while going through the respawn tunnel too. Yeah! Okay, now let's give an example of what I actually wanted to demonstrate. Which is going to a chest room and then hawthorn. And that is about the longest thing you should ever really do. You'd never spend much more time in the level. And if the murder paint's ever an issue, you're being too slow. So let's pretend we're just doing a hunt run and we want one of everything and we don't have any items yet. 
So similarly to if you're farming multiple items, just pick whatever the closest spawn is, say this here, and go do that chest room. Uh, this... Let's see what type of melon shotgun I got. Oh, it's the orb. I don't like this type. Can do a lot of damage, it's especially good if you element match, but... Oh, and I got Rocket fifth Atlas Pistol. I don't like either of these weapon types, but we'll make do. They're not bad. I just don't like using them. chest here, I didn't know that. As you do runs, you'll learn some of the chest locations too. I might point out some of the more obvious ones, which might be useful, but like I mentioned, you shouldn't really go out of your way for them. Okay, this is basically the same gun. This is the sort of starter gear that I would not go fight Walker with for what it's worth. This is definitely a run where you'd want to go kill someone, uh, do a chest room. system. Yeah, I think I'll prefer that. Like I mentioned before, don't be afraid to experiment with what gear you're using mid-fight. The worst thing that happens is you just switch back to whatever your old gear was. I'm surprised you didn't kill me there. He's low enough health that it doesn't matter. We got a thug. Okay, here we go. Some more items. You can definitely see why doing this is good. And the Firefly. Why doing this is good just to get a little bit of gear to use against the boss. Uh, that is elemental. Like I mentioned, element matching is really good. Uh, we don't have too much. Um, I suppose we've kind of treated it as a formality for now, but of course, once you get something you want, rush towards the closest extractor. I'd prob probably choose this one here and go extract it there. Uh, that shouldn't really be complex, but I guess we can cover that this run too. Get there, you. Nah. It's pistols our best gun. So, I mean, only in cases where you just kind of want everything since. Walker doesn't have any dedicated drops, it's just will drops everything at a decent rate. That's the only time you do this. Might be tempted to go off to another chest room, but that's slow. Just single chest room Walker is best for random drops. Come over here and let's send just the Firefly back, I guess. That's all you do. Uh, if you're going for random drops, off to Walker, and he shouldn't be much of a problem with this improved gear. I mean, my shield's twice the capacity of the one I had last round. Yeah. 
you and you didn't have fuck mode. Oh, that's working decently. Element matching is really a big thing against Walker, as you can see. It does a lot less damage, but because it's the right element, it works really well. Like even even if your only element is from a grenade, use it. It will help. Oh, and actually, you know what's a multiplier for shock on armor? Is this gonna be better? Nah. Dedicated revive time. Definitely will go down at times, just keep that in mind and be ready for it. Like how far away from my relives I am. Okay, back to this and incendiary. Especially if you can actually get them a light, it really helps. We are actually using our starter weapon on him again, but it's a lot less tense because we did get a better shield and we have better alternate weapons. So, yeah. If you're just going for any random drops, it can be worth going to Hawker here. If there's a specific set of just a small number, go to chest streams, don't bother with Hawker. And if you want other random gear like this, why are you even in an arms race? Only farm that in a vendor or whatever. Um, so at this point, I would like the three different ways you choose where to go. Uh, now let's go over some of the glitches you can do to speed things up. Oh, this will bring in the TP tool suddenly. So, first trick you can do, this only works for three of the chest rooms, the uh, Firefly Res one here, the Teddy Fug Torrent one here, and the Gas Mask Madcap Toboggan one here. But we're just going to open up the chest without ever touching the arena here. So, this is going to abuse the fact that in photo mode, when your camera returns to your character, like there, this section here, it has no collision. But your camera is always at a set offset from your character here. So if your character moves while it's transitioning back to your character, like this, it can your camera can clip through walls. So practically what you do is you jump at this corner, photo mode in midair, like that, and bring your camera right up against the wall like this, and it just gets pushed right through and you can open the chest. And then you can do it again to pick the gear out. Uh, so in this case you can only access the closer chest. Um, if you're on PC it might help to bind used scrolls, so you can just spam inputs. But it's not necessary, and also uh, you can't hold scroll to down yourself if you're downing yourself to farm stuff a lot, but you can see we got some nice gear, well, I guess it's all white, so we got gear without having to fight anything, and this can spawn legendaries. Um, let's move on over here, this spot, there are a few enemies around a few skags out here, 
they're usually not much of a problem, but you can kill them if you really want to. And exact same idea. Just jump at this, photo mode. And then go open the chests, and this time we have got something. That half looks like snow drift, that might be nice from throwing a bunch of stuff off. I don't know, it's like a rare ender or something. The lit lamp, yeah. You get the idea. Wow, I really missed all of them? Damn. Let's just move on. Uh, the last spot you can do it is over here. It has two separate chest rooms, but you can still you can do them both individually. Uh, the one thing to note here is there will be enemies, which can be annoying. And clearing the enemies just opens the room anyway, so try be fast. Just photo mode in midair, bring your camera up, and use it through the wall. Might want to kill some enemies if they're being annoying to you. Shot drops aren't that bad. Move forward a second. Ideally, you want it to be that you reach like the limit of how far you can move your photo mode camera right as you hit the wall. So that gives the most distance between the camera and you as possible, while also being as close to your goal. But there we go, we got that. And to get out of here, normally, normally you'd need to fill, finish the fight and would open up one of these ladders, but you'd actually come over in this corner, jump in the rubble, mantle up here, mantle up here, and fall up there. Oops. It's not that hard. I swear this is easier than them making it look. I'm gonna blame it on the enemies that were definitely attacking me. They were bad luck, I swear. Oh, come on! <laughs> There we go, finally made it out. So you can do that parkour to get out here if it's not as hard as you made it look. Or you can just kill everyone when you have the gear you want. Of course, if you don't get what you want in any of these three farms, you can... Well, because they're very quick to get, you could move on and farm something else. So if you check this chest, you can very easily also... I didn't get what I want, whatever, let's continue over to the dam. If you check this chest, uh, depending on which direction you're coming, it could go either up there or over there. If you check this, you could go to the launch pad or to the Kensei room. Um, it's very quick to check them, so it doesn't really it doesn't make anything harder. It's not taking much time. Um, but if you're only checking a single room and you don't get what you want, just down yourself, do another run, try again, like everything else. Um, well, I guess I do actually need to start arms race for this next glitch. Let's head back over here. So, next glitch, we'll just use this arena as an easy example. You could photo mode glitch this, but let's pretend you don't like that. Next thing you can do is fight through as normal until the final boss wave. The way all of these arenas work is they spawn a bunch of enemies, wait for you to kill them all, spawn a bunch more, and eventually they spawn a boss wave, and when you kill the boss wave they open these doors. Boss wave is the one with the badasses, so... Oops, not yet. Yep, this is the boss wave now. See if we've got the two badass powerhouse heavies in this case. And what you're gonna do is just let them kill you. I'm gonna specifically die against this door so you can see why. But just 
go down while the bosses are both alive. Well, only one of them needs to be alive. Go down while the boss wave is alive, and you'll notice the door just opens. Because the door opens when you kill the boss wave, and when you die, it kills all the enemies on the map to reset it, which then kills the bosses and opens the door. So we head back this time, you can see the doors are just open, and you can pop down in here and loot them instantly. Now if you want to chain this witch and do it multiple times, you would need to go kill up to the boss wave again. Because when I go down, it'll close all the doors and then kill all the enemies. Wow, I did not get good gear here. Uh, when I go down, it would close the doors and then kill the enemies. It kills them after trying to close the doors, which is why it works. And since the bosses aren't spawned, it doesn't open them again. You do need to fight back to the boss wave to chain it. And since I actually need to start arms race, let's do that. Um... I'm trying to think which spawn I want to show this off with. Let's do this one. Let me quickly check if there's a chest of better gear. Uh, maybe I want to take this and check my starting gear. I don't particularly want to use a sniper. Okay, so let's say we do it somewhere like here, though, where there are these sliding doors as well. How does this work? So first, we need to kill everyone to get to the boss wave. This scare is not making easy. Why is it giving me so many snipers? Snipers can be good, but... They're awkward to use, I find. I guess I do have all the sniperies to use in this character, but that's another problem. If you don't have many SDUs, some weapon types just become completely unviable. Yeah, we've got the boss wave. So, just gonna let them kill me. Uh, one thing to note, you do need to be doing a single chest farm if you want to do this glitch. I can't leave these guys alive and run somewhere else, they will despawn and they won't be killed. So we do need to come back to this chest and we can only chain off of this chest. As you can see here, the green barrier opened but the sliding door went back down. Let's so run over here legit this time, so I can show you how this works with proper gear. I feel like we got a good spawn for this. Oh, Malamon Pistols. Malamon Pistols are really good. Element matching is just really good in general, and... Pistols are good on top of that. This is why you want to make sure to send the elevator down, so you can just go straight up it again. Come over here, skip to this again. And now the door's still closed. So, gotta start killing people. And what it feels like is that there's a specific random enemy it picks that you need to kill to finish the wave. It's kind of weird. But sometimes your very first kill will 
Ugh, why do you have to run so far away? Don't ruin this for me now. Oh, it's close. If you die without getting back to the boss wave, it breaks your chain. Oh, there's so many scrappers. Okay, here we go. Now, when the door actually opens and the bosses spawn, the ba the green barrier is just gone and you can walk through. But since you need to fight back through to until the bosses spawn to be able to chain this anyway, this doesn't really change anything. Just fight until the bosses spawn, go check the chests, and then down yourself and do it again. Let's do that one more time to show it off properly. Oh, there is one rare case that can happen sometimes if you haven't fully worked out. Sometimes, when you go down, the next boss wave will just instantly spawn and the doors will stay open. If that happens, you walk straight into the chest without killing anyone, kick the chest, and go down. Hey, we've got the spawn again. How convenient. Um... The theory, working theory behind that is it happens when an enemy is standing underneath the doorway, which is hard to manipulate. But it's also just very rare, so it's hard to get a good idea of what actually causes it. It could be something completely different. But when it happens, it's a nice bonus. Just don't rely on it. Keep this chest in case it has anything better, so I don't fully like the scare. Uh, it's not much better. I don't know what that relic had, but it's a relic which is better than none. So, same deal as before, just kill enough enemies until the boss wave spawns, and you can go straight to the chests, check them, and leave. Well, kill yourself. You don't get what you want. Yeah, that guy was not worth it. All of the rooms, whenever you, whenever the boss wave happens, you'll see red flashing lights and an alarm, so that's how you tell. In case you hadn't noticed that yet. But here we go, it's spawning. We go check our chests, nothing, what a surprise. And go kill yourself to do it again. Pro tip, unequip your shield. Uh, so at this point, that those two are the two useful glitches you can do. This is just your standard stuff, like you can swap reload if you want to. Um, so now, I'm going to move to covering the optimal way to get to each, each chest room from all of the spawns. So there are five spawn points. I don't think we've actually... I don't know, have we seen them all yet? Uh, oops, let me get myself orientated. There's one spawn there, one spawn there, one spawn there, one there, and one over there. And the routes to the different chest rooms are pretty similar, so we'll go by chest room instead. So let's start with where we were before. If you want to get to the dam. So this is the best spawn for it, like I was saying, you run just straight up there. Like you've seen me done the like you've seen me do the last two attempts, up that staircase, up the elevator, do the skip around the side. You get this spawn point. All you do is you run across here. And from here go climb the staircase like before. 
you get this spawn point. I really think I should probably get myself some guns. You get this spawn point, you come run through this tunnel. This tunnel is a very often used area. I should probably point out, you can get the chest there, up there, over here, over there, one back there. There are a lot of chests you can get in here which are useful if you don't have the best gear. So you'll often be running through here. Let's go with the CAV pistol. But yeah, just run straight through the tunnel, take the staircase again. You get the launch pad spawn. You, very similar, run over this direction. Get over here and then take the tunnel. And if you get the Skag spawn here, once again, come off to the side here and just run straight towards the tunnel and take that. Now the uh, the Res Five Live Chest Room is basically the same deal. Uh, so just instead of taking the staircase, once you get here, you just turn left and come over to the arena instead. And like I mentioned earlier, if you're doing the photo mode clips and you finish this quick enough, you might also just want to leave here and take a left to go on to Dan. Okay, then the uh, Tizzy Tripshot Arrow Command Clip Room. This, the best spawn, is over here, of course, and it's kind of obvious you come over here and run straight towards it. I did not have very much health, so I think you've seen me do this arena before. I could do with a shield. Yep, you're over here. Um, you follow, if you get any of the spawns on this side of the map, you just go through the tunnel to get over here. And then from this spawn to just follow the bridge this way. And run straight across into there. Okay, for the uh, Torrent Thug Teddy Room, if you get this spawn point, you run through this room. Just drop down here, here it is. One of you dropped me a shield. Well, let's clip that. It's not going to work. Let's clip this just to see if I can get a shield, because I'd like to not die while showing this stuff off. Did I get any? That's a con. Is it? No, that might be a shield. Yes, cool. Okay. We will now not die. Um... From this spawn, I like to just go straight down the... Uh, it's not really a tunnel, valley, I guess. Whatever this is, I like to run through this instead. So, for launch pad spawn, you can go around the left here. I think I'll stop sliding, my hand's starting to hurt from it. Sliding to move is technically quicker, so you should be doing that. Yep, come this way. And now this one is kind of the most iffy one for this. You can go either way around, really. You could go run up this way to get there, or you could go around the tunnel, which is probably slightly longer. So I tend to go 
the same direction as launch pad. Just follow it down there. And then finally, if you have the corner spawn, the side spawn, same thing. You could go either way really, but going past the launch pad is probably shorter. So we'll follow it this way. And then you reach it over here. Now, this, since this isn't another one of the ones you can photo mode clip into, if you're doing that, you might want to continue on. So there are two paths you can go. You can... Well... You could go to any of these chests, really. And you can also go to the spy chest here. So the spy chest is kind of obvious. You just follow the path down here into this room. And then you get over there. I'll cover that in a bit too, though. For this, if you're going towards the fireflies or the... Dan spawn, you just follow this tunnel over that way and then take the relevant thing. If you want to go over to the Tizzy room though, it's a small shortcut you can do. Jump on this rock, aim for the highest corner of that rock, jump last second, your mantle. It, it does seem that you should aim left because it's lower, but that doesn't work. You want to aim for the highest corner specifically, then just hug the wall, do a few jumps. And you can jump down basically to where the other swarm point is here and get up there. You're going towards the spy swarm, which is the next one we'll cover to. Just gotta get back over here first. I have a teleport. You're going to the spy swarm, you just run this direction. Pop in here and off to the left. Let's get it over with. And if you're over here, I can clear this and the next room. Uh, now from your normal spawn points going towards the spine. For Geodome here, I just follow basically that exact route straight past the cache. So down here, Look get there. to that chest room, then follow it past the exact same route. There's one point up at the spillway, you might choose to go more directly straight through. It's not a major difference. And if I were doing photo mode clips, I would just go down and get that chest room to extra drops. But if you're not, you might find this slightly quicker. Just pop over here and then round that like before. Uh, for the three spawns on the other side, Start with launch pad. These are all pretty similar. You just run straight at this door. I think I've shown this path before, but we'll do it again. and around into this. And we're here, clear this area, clear the next one, so on. Um, from side spawn, same idea as before, just basically run to the launch pad spawn, then run over there. Yep, get up here and head straight to that doorway. I actually have a chest down. Straight through here, and then continue as before. And from the central spawn here, very similar, just hop out to the side instead and run straight into that doorway. Marked. Yeah. 
yeah. Okay, next room would be the Kensei chest. Start with this spawn again. This is the best one for it. And for pretty much all the paths, you're just going to go through this bit here. Over here. There are a number of chests you can find here too, which is good if you're low on gear. There's one down there. That could spawn up there. That's spawn too. I believe there can be one on the right side here somewhere. There's one over there. There's a few more up here. We're going to take the right side since it's closer to where we're coming from, very slightly, which makes it quicker. There you can also have a red chest there, and one down there and over there. And then you're over here, just got to kill everyone, clear this mini arena, and make it through there to get into the actual room. And now, as you might expect, it's not very different for the other spawns here, just from here. Drop straight down, head over there. Yep, straight through there. And the side spawn, just go down, cut down here. There you go. Now for the two spawns on the other side, you're going to go through this tunnel again. Like I said, it'll be a high traffic area. So, pretty obvious how you do it from here. You just run straight straight through the tunnel, and then you're basically where the side spawn was, and follow its route. Yeah, out over here, then cut to that way. Just as before. And... Spillway. Again, pretty obvious. You just follow the bridge, get to the tunnel here, and then continue just as before. Uh, now for the uh, gas cat, gas mask, mad cat, toboggan, chest room. This works pretty similarly. A lot of these are very similar. I feel like I've been saying that a lot. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Central Swan is the best of this again. You've seen me do this before too, just run straight at it. From here. And you can drop down and do whatever you want. Um, because this is another photo mode clipping one, personally I wouldn't continue on from it since it is slower. It's a little awkward. Like none of these paths are particularly short, but you can continue on from this to either the Kensei or the Launchpad rooms. For that you just pop through here and then here you're up at this final arena again. Alternatively, the other path. Just straight up here. Uh, I can tell I hadn't actually done this path before because I did not think it's worth it. Up here. Any you this one? Yeah, slight shortcut. And you're over here to this room. Uh, we'll get back to that room later. Launch Red Spawn to Gas Mask. It's very similar to what you'd expect, just cut straight down this way. Straight that way to get to your thing. Side spawn and these spawns over here, they're all exactly the same as last time. You click, if you're here, you run down here to the tunnel. If you're here, run through the tunnel and from over here. Just follow it straight down the road, over there. there. So all three of these spawns take basically the same path. Uh, yep, 
yeah, just follow that all the way to the chest room. And finally, launch command. Launch command is awkward. Uh, you might access it by going through here afterwards, but really the only access point is through here. So side spawn's the best for this one. Everything else basically just follows it right into here. Get up here, and then round the corner. It's probably the one that takes the longest to get to, I don't know. Same as the other side, we can mantle on top of this, just give a little bit of running around the side, but this one's a lot easier. And we're over at the room, and you can kill everyone and do whatever. Then for launchpad spawn, it's exactly what you'd expect. You run straight over to the side spawn and continue as before. Yep, from here, just run straight down over there. Central spawn, you can actually... This is slightly different, you can go this way, cut the corner slightly. It's not like this is a major difference, but it's a difference. Oh, how weird a vendor. Vendors generally aren't worth it, don't go out of your way for them. Yep, we're here, you continue this as before. And Geodome and Spillway, exactly like the last two, you just go through the tunnel and then continue as if you had side spawn. And that's that. We're over here and can follow the path all the way up to get to Launch Complex. So that's the most optimal way from every spawn to every chest. That kind of concludes the video. So the main thing to take away is just try rush. The murder cane should never be a problem. If it is, you're being too slow. Don't kill anyone outside of the chest room arenas where you have to. And your white starter gear can, from any spawn, you can reach any chest room with the white gear before the murder cane moves.